Time on the water is sacred. It's why you're here, to gain confidence in your abilities and unlock the world of water for yourself, your family, and your friends. Hi, I'm Adrian. And I'm Carrie. Together, we're going to walk you through the basics of boating so you can experience the joy and freedom of being out on the water and go boldly into each adventure that comes your way. The goal at boat ramps is to be thorough, yet quick. Load and secure your rods, tackle, coolers, and supplies in the boat before you leave home. When you pull up to the staging area, make it your first priority to put the drain plug in. While you're back there, detach the transom straps. Turn on your battery power. Tie your bow and stern lines to the cleats on the side you intend to dock. One at the bow and one at the stern. Keep your winch strap and safety chain attached to the boat for the next step. Before you back down, engage four-wheel drive if your vehicle is equipped with it, and recount your checklist. Ideally, you have an experienced boater ready at the helm as you back your boat down staying close to the courtesy dock. When the stern begins to float and the bow is still slightly supported by the trailer, shift in the park, engage the emergency brake, then go out to unhook the winch strap and safety chain. Tilt the engine down until the water intake is fully submerged, then turn it on. With a bump into reverse and a bit of throttle, the boat should slide off with relative ease. If your companion doesn't have the experience to be at the helm, have them hold onto the bow and stern lines and walk along the dock as the boat is being backed down. Once the boat is floating, unhook the strap and safety chain, and they can pull it off the trailer and along the dock, steering it with the lines. If you're launching solo, you can use this same method. Secure your lines somewhere you can reach them before backing down. Then, use the lines to pull your boat off the trailer once it's floating or having back down next to the courtesy dock, you can board your boat from there to then drive it off the trailer. In either case, tie off the dock and go park your vehicle and trailer. When the day is done, loading your boat is basically the same process in reverse. With an experienced companion, one of you can retrieve the vehicle and the other can drive the boat onto the trailer. If you're not lined up correctly, just back up, reset, and approach again. Once you're centered on the trailer, you'll likely have to give it some throttle to get up to the bow stop. With an inexperienced companion, or if you're loading solo, there are a couple extra steps. Tie your boat to a section of a dock where you won't block access to the ramp. Retrieve your vehicle and back your trailer down the ramp. Remember, shift into park and engage the emergency brake. Retrieve your boat from the dock and drive it as far onto your trailer as you can. Turn the motor off and tilt it up for clearance. Now go to the tongue and winch your boat till it's snug against the bow stop. Then hook the safety chain to the bow eye. Get back in your vehicle, disengage the e-brake, then pull the boat out and around to the staging area. Pull the drain plug, and if this hasn't been done already, empty the live wells. This will reduce weight before you haul and also prevent spreading aquatic species into a body of water where they don't belong. For this reason, remove any aquatic grasses from your boat and trailer and spray down your boat before launching it into another body of water. Attach the transom support bracket to your outboard or trailer clips to your stern drive. Then secure your transom straps. Do a final walk around to make sure all your tires are inflated, everything is drained and strapped down, and your trailer lights are functioning. With another successful day in the books, it's time to head home and clean up. Thanks for taking time on this episode of Freshwater Boating Basics, presented by Mercury Marine.